Welcome back again to Smart Depot. This is a continuation of our video, seven ways to make sure that uh, your Facebook account isn't hacked. Uh, we are getting a lot of good reviews on that one. And uh, even though we did two-factor authentication inside it, I want to show you more details about two-factor authentication. You go to your settings, uh, go to your menu, to your settings, and then you go to security and log in. So that's where we you know, take it out from. So once you come in there, uh, there's option to choose um, SMS or user authentication app. No, personally, I use authentication app because of security reasons. Uh, so that somebody who doesn't who do have your phone or maybe you lose your phone and, and you might not be able to do your authentication again. So it's very, very simple. I'm going to show you the authentication app I'm using. Uh, it's even have a plug in uh, for Chrome browser where you can just put it in and get the code. You just copy this code and then you move to the app. So this is the authentication app. It's very, very uh, simple authenticator. Uh, if you want to add a code, you just click on that uh, pencil edit button and then uh, you click the plus and then you can manually add a code. You know, you just give a name to the company or whatever group you are using the code for and then you paste in the secret code and after that you say okay if the code is wrong it will tell you it can also scan it can also scan for something that is inside the system so as you can see this is the code for every uh, like 10 15 seconds it changes so this is the authentication extension i'm using it straight from google chrome browser and it's open source so there is nothing to fear here it's open source you can check them out on github it's open source uh authenticator by authenticator.cc you can go to chrome uh, web uh, store to search for the plugin and put it for yourself it's very very easy to use very simple very secure and then i'm going to tell you uh, some of the reason why i use it it's not just that um, it is easy to use you can actually use it without internet you can also do export you can export your codes your authentication secret code you can even back up and you know restore you can import so this is very very good because you, you can see you can actually import this to your google drive or dropbox and make sure you have it and uh, even if you lose your phone or even your laptop you can always come back and then restore it from the stuff as you can see i have i don't have internet here once you've set it up it works even without internet so you pick the code from there uh it expires maybe every 10 15 seconds so be fast make sure you copy it fast and then paste so once you've done that, Facebook will also ask you for password. So it's not just enough to have the authentication code. It will ask you for password again. Now you have turned on your two-factor authentication using the authentication app. So that's it. Once you've turned on your two-factor authentication, even if once you want to log in from the Facebook mobile app, it will now prompt you to, you know, put in a two-factor authentication code. As we do, you just copy the code and then be fast, you know, to put it in and then you continue. And always, I always reject this <laughs> save password. So once you've done that, now you see that it's, you know, it, it, the same thing applies, but in system and in mobile app. So if you log again in system, it will give you option to also put that two-factor authentication code. The good thing is that it will also give you option that if you want, you just pick the code and be fast about it. So once it's amber, it's changing there, you just copy it and paste so the good thing here is that once you've put in the code for the first time maybe in your own laptop or a browser you, it gives you option to know whether you want to save this and not be able to and not enter codes again you know the next time you want to use the application so you can say okay save the browser and that will be it so that's uh, how to set up to factor authentication and you also get notification in the app to either accept or reject the login so that will be it uh, for today and and uh, make sure you subscribe uh, we're gonna be doing a giveaway soon so make sure you subscribe and I'll see you in the next video subscribe I'll see you.